Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Commanding General, 2nd Infantry Division, ROC US Combined, Major General David A. Lesbrons, and the Division Command Star Major, Command Star Major Sean F. Carnes, welcome to today's patching ceremony. Today, the 2nd Infantry Division, ROC US Combined, bids farewell to the Deputy Commanding General ROC, Brigadier General Yu Uk Song and formally welcomes the incoming Deputy Commanding General Rock, Brigadier General Kim Nam Hoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the invocation delivered by the 2nd Infantry Division, Rock U.S. Combined, Chaplain Patrick Devine. No spray. Father, we give thanks for your grace bringing us to this day and this special occasion with deep appreciation for the leadership of General Yu and in anticipation of building the team with General Kim, we seek your watchful presence and favor upon this ceremony and upon the entire combined division as we continue our long historic legacy of serving together. In your name we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The United States Army 2nd Infantry Division was formed on French soil in 1917 during the First World War. Since then, it has served in armed conflict during World War II, the Korean War, and the War on Terror in both Iraq and Afghanistan. On July 23, 1950, it arrived in Korea, becoming the first unit deployed to Korea directly from the United States. The division has proudly worn the distinctive Indian head patch on its shoulders since the beginning. In 2015, it became the first ever combined division, when over 65 ROC officers and NCOs fully integrated into the division where the ROC and US leaders served side by side in support of the Alliance. In this ceremony, Major General Lesbrons will place the combined division patch on the incoming Deputy Commanding General, 
honoring the service of the past, and welcoming the newest member to the Warrior team. Uh, 
uh, and outside uh, of these walls, and uh, and uh, we all just need to do our part and uh, maintain uh, all the protocols in place. And this ceremony, we, we said we must do, and so it was worth the risk. I'll put my mask back on when I'm done, and uh, it was worth the risk to properly say goodbye to General Yu and uh, formally recognize General Kim as our DCGs. Thank you for your time today. General Kim, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Can you see the end? We will pull our own room. It is my great honor to be here uh, with you, uh, best warriors, uh, as one team. Uh, I, uh, uh, I would write uh, this title uh, on the headstone of my grave. D C D R or Twy D R C Actually I uh, made a uh, long statement for today. Uh, but however, uh, if you want uh, coming general, uh, I will I will make it short. <laughs> I think you're right on the service. Sure. <laughs> you can go with your prepared comments, it'll be absolutely fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I express my uh, sincere gratitude and respect to the commanding general, uh, Major General Lesporo, uh, for preparing today's uh, event. Also, I feel grateful to the guests, uh, including uh, Commander Sergeant Major Khan and Deputy Commanding General of uh, GOC, uh, Major General Duong, and DC, DCG of the uh, Ace Army, Brigadier General Yu, and uh, retired General Kim, uh, Deputy Commanding General Munibro, uh, Brigadier General Harbo, uh, uh, for being here uh, despite the uh, busy schedule. On the current COVID 19 situation, I would pray if I couldn't have my touching ceremony uh, before the commanding generals and leaders. After all, I want to say and thank you, thank you to everyone who spared their time for preparing uh, this event and sending me these kinds of uh, messages of congratulation. Uh, during the glorious event, uh, I want to stress on three points uh, that I feel grateful about. The first grateful list is for every uh, rock service members who have devoted themselves to the peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula. And the 28,050 U.S. Forces K members who have gradually contributed to the maintenance of a strong rock and U.S. combined defense posture on this country. On this country. Half the way around the globe from the United States. Uh, recently, I talked with my father in law on the uh, security of the Korean Peninsula. And he told me that he was worried about uh, the continuous North Korean missile threat and nuclear development. But he also said he felt uh, relieved uh, because his son in law would be working at the combined division as a deputy commanding general. Based on, the, uh, based on trust, I will do my best to establish solid log and US combined operational posture. The second red police uh, go to go to full, uh, sacrifice themselves for the freedom and peace of the Republic of Korea. I want to express my deepest uh, gratitude to the veterans who defended Korea from the Korean War and series of military threats that come came along afterward, even at the cost of their lives. In particular, U.S. 2nd uh, Infantry Division safeguarded this country while seeing 4,938 killed in action, uh, 16,166 wounded in action, and 1,055 missing in action during the Korean War. Also, the second ID has been one of the most powerful actors in defense of Korea by stationing on the Peninsula. 
I would like to take time to thank my thank you police and uh, condolences to the spirit of the sacrifice of the veterans who bravely went into the war to answer the call to defend the country they never knew and a people they never meet, they never met. I'm sincerely proud uh, to be assigned to ID, RMC, that and this uh, honorable history. The third great release is for all the members of the QID, RUCD, for their contribution to the perfect uh, combined operational readiness. Despite the difficult COVID-19 situation and limitations of the training conditions, with the legacy that our veterans passed to us, we are organizing the Ed Lagan US Combined Division in 2015 to become the first and only combined technical uh, unit in the world. And we have accomplished all the world the assigned mission as one team based on the spirit of mutual trust. Ever since I came here, I was able to see that our better preparedness has been significantly evaluated throughout a series of combined training and exercises, including last year's CCP and combined the ACTC training. I acknowledge that all the accomplishments wouldn't have been possible without the, without the interest and effort of the commander. So for this, I thank and support the leaders and warriors. I'm certain that we will pass on and, uh, pass on and develop the legacy of the QID, RUCD, while confronting various internal and external security threats in this ever changing world. We will probe the second non slogan by focusing on preparation for a world for quite time. Our contemplation and this of sweat will make us become uh, take become the best unit in the world with the luggage combined capacity of putting at your system and not with the inter Operability. For this, I will focus on some major issues as a DCGR of the RUCD. To begin with, I will ensure combined trainings of the various fields to be improved not only in their uh, quantity but also their quality throughout a better market US uh, coordination. Next, I will keep talking with the related organization so that the uh, region and MSC's training can be well executed. Lastly, I will do my best to help the division can accomplish its core mission, including CCPT and uh, offline development on the, on the one team for combined operational preparedness. Again, I appreciate the commanding general and all the distinguished guests, guests and I would like to say thank you to the service members for their effort. In particular, to the members of the Bulldog Brigade and other rotational units who will return to their uh, home country after nine months uh, of a rotation more mission. Thank you and have a safety journey back to home. I'm sorry that I can't meet, I can't meet everyone in person because of the reduced size of uh, the event due to the pandemic. I will certainly meet all of you on the field. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you tonight. Bye tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the singing of the Warrior Bard and the Army Song.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony. Thank you for attending and have a pleasant evening.